Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jack, this is Rob Tropical Living. I'm gonna make a quick smoothie for you today. I think I may have done this in a video way, 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 way back, but my videos are kind of unorganized. I was gonna go back through and see, but anyway, new people are always coming, so even if I did, no harm, no foul. This is a really good one. This is the, I'll show you what's in here in a second, doing it in the good old uh, Nutribullet again. This is the smoothie that I pretty much, one of the smoothies I pretty much lived on when I first became raw vegan. Now it's got a lot of good stuff in it, but one thing, and I look back on it, and I'm mixing this in, this is just kind of a, this is almost like an appetizer, because I gotta have lots of calories, and this doesn't have as many calories as my normal smoothies. I'll tell you first what's in here. I've got beets, and I'm trying to, you know, I'm still learning this thing. I mean, my conclusion or my idea right now on the Nutribullet is it's a really good machine. I love it. I wouldn't give it away for anything, but I think I need something else too, even if it's another just cheapo blender, because, you know, I'm, I'm lazy. As I keep telling you over and over, I'm lazy. And when I really want to make a big smoothie, I'm just not in the mood to perfectly put this stuff in. I want a big freaking bowl. But I'm not complete. Like I say, this is a good machine, and the consistency of a lot of the stuff that I'm making, like salad dressings and stuff, comes out amazing. So, what I've got in this, this is basically a green smoothie. And what I'm going to do for that too, I'll tell you after I put it, tell you the ingredients. I'll go backwards. This kale, I'm going to put some water in there. I'm going to try to uh, blend it down a little bit, and then hopefully I can get a little bit more kale in there. But anyway. We have got, and oh, and by the way, this is not an original. I didn't come up with this. This, this smoothie is, I used to get at a smoothie place that's a chain smoothie place in Costa Rica. But it, I watched them make it. It was all natural ingredients. I mean, it was just straight up fruits and vegetables. There wasn't any, you know, syrups or any BS put in there. But it's called Pura Energia, or Pure Energy. And um, I had it so much, like I was working at that, um, I was working when riding sports betting at the time, and I'd go to the office two or three days a week, and I'd always go to the same shop, and I'd always order two of the same smoothie. The girls would just kind of giggle. They'd see me walking up, and they'd just laugh. They'd be like, pura energia? I'd be like, see. <laughs> okay, so what's in this one? At the bottom here, we got, you see a lot of colors, a lot of good colors in here. We got beets at the bottom. I've got about, hopefully that'll you know, thicken it up just a little bit. Um, I've got a frozen banana in there. I've got pineapple. And normally now the original the, that I used to have had spinach in it, but I'm going to use kale today. Now, you know, typical green smoothie, just adding in the beets. And I wanted to look up the beets again because, you know, I know beets are good for you, but I wanted to see, you know, exactly all the good benefits of them. And, you know, something else too that I never do and I didn't do with that one, um, I'm about to get back to juicing some more. I'll do a video on that pretty soon about where I'm going to start going with the juicing. Um, I will give you a little quickie here though. Juicing, I never have juice for a meal. I never pay attention to the calories. Nu juices for me are just about the nutrients that I get in there. And what I'm round about trying to say is I need to be using those beet tops. They, um, everything I'm reading, you know, se seems to say there's actually more nutrition in the beet uh, greens, the tops, and there are in the roots. But basically beets are highly nutritious and cardiovascular health friendly root vegetables. Didn't know, but yeah, it makes sense they were a root vegetable. Certain unique pigment antioxidants in the root as well as in its top greens have been found to offer protection against coronary artery disease. Did I say that backwards before? The top greens are supposedly have the most uh, um, in the beet against coronary art disease, heart disease, art, <laughs> You guys see why I don't do more videos early in the morning. I get tongue tied. <laughs> uh, certain unique pigment antioxidants in the root as well as in its top greens have been found to offer protection against coronary artery disease and stroke, lower cholesterol levels within the body, and have anti-aging effects. You can look up beets. I just wanted to show to look at one more thing. It's also got um. Da -da 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 -da. This is one I want to get to. Raw beets are an excellent source of folates. It contains about. 100 grams of this vitamin, 27% of the RDA. Um, this is one where they've talked about, and this is not actually a site about raw food, so they're talking about it, that cooking beet significantly lowers their nutritional value. So anyhow, just well, I thought I'd throw a little bit of there on the beet. The beets are just good for everything. They're good for the blood. Um, so let's see what we can do. I 
think that will. I think that will probably blend down where I can get some more. Okay, this is like I do with this. I, like I said, I blend this down and just see how much I can get in there. with my top lately. This little rubber piece wants to come off. So let me deal with that and I'll be right back. All right, let's try that again. Uh, let's see what we can get. I'm trying to decide. I need some more greens. I wouldn't mind getting another banana in there, but I don't know if we're going to get both. Get a little bit more kale in there. Yeah, I think we're just going to pretty much have to go with the kale, and I hope... <laughs> you guys see my dilemma. This is... <laughs> this, these little tiny smoothies, these are children's smoothies. That's what you got. That's what they're good for. The... When it comes to smoothie making, the Nutribullet is a good uh, maker for children. Push it one more time. Do you want to see me push it? Well, I'll be right back. I think I can squeeze another banana in there. And I can always use another 100 calories wherever I can get it. Sorry, I hope that's not making you dizzy with me moving on and off camera like that. Now let's see what we can do. You know, something feels wrong about having one banana in a smoothie now. I see people do that sometimes. They're a lot of, I see their recipe and it's like, did I misread or was there one banana in there? One banana kind of hardly even gets me going. Once again, a suitable snack for children. Not so much for adults. Trying to keep from making a nasty mess here with this red of the beet. If I can come out with my shirt intact. And there we go. And that's kind of how I, I know this is a little bit disjointed today, but that's just how I make uh, smoothies. And look at that. That's some good, uh, I like the mix of this color. They were a little bit, <laughs> to be honest, they skimped a little bit on their ingredients, whereas I don't. And this has a little bit dirtier look to it because uh, they put very little spinach and they had more beet, so the beet kind of overrode everything and made it real red. This is kind of more an earthy look, and Oh, this is a good one. It's nice to mix it up every once in a while. Like I say, this isn't a total ton of calories, couple of bananas in there. Well, it's probably maybe 250, 300 calories, maybe a little bit more if I'm lucky, but that's about it. But it's still a good one. It's tasty and it mixes it up. Um, and it's fair, it's cheap too, you know, I told you yesterday I'm going cheap, it's cheap too. But you know, you gotta mix your smoothies up every once in a while um, to keep it fresh. Uh, now, I could probably do it, I could drink my same smoothie like a robot every day, but this is really nice. I enjoy this and it's, uh, that's important in this lifestyle is to keep it fresh, keep yourself uh, satisfied. Um, don't get into ruts, don't get into routines, don't get bored. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this uh, smoothie, make it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and hope you're having a good week. Happy hump day. Peace.